And it's a critter you never want to meet. Its venom causes your red blood cells to explode, and where it bites, your skin can literally rot away. But what I'm looking for is by definition going to be difficult to find, because it's reclusive by name and reclusive by nature. It's the brown recluse spider, sometimes called the fiddleback because of the violin-shaped mark on its back. But you don't really want to get close enough to identify it, because it has one of the most destructive bites known to man. This nocturnal scavenger's natural home is inside caves or rodent burrows, but any dark nook or cranny will do, and humans provide plenty of those. They often find their way into the creases in cardboard boxes. This one is a large female. I've got to be very careful. Right, come on, you. They're a beautiful spider, you can see. It's very subtly coloured. No garish warning marks. It's very difficult to see. So if one of those gets into your shoes or your bed and you accidentally antagonise it, you could be in for a very, very unpleasant experience. Surprisingly, its bite isn't painful. Sometimes people don't even realise they've been bitten. But don't be fooled. The venom from this unassuming spider can disfigure us and even kill. Brown recluse venom contains at least 11 components that work in different ways. One prevents your blood from clotting. Some cause your red blood cells to rupture. And others make your skin rot at the bite site. It can cause skin necrosis, so from the bite, you can actually find the wound spreading, almost like a burn. The problem is, it can take ages to heal, maybe six to eight weeks in extreme cases, and you won't fully recover for months, with scarring left at the bite site permanently. Unfortunately, recluse spiders are frighteningly common. A study showed that in one state, 70% of all homes were inhabited by these spiders. So it's worth looking where you're going to put your hand first. Don't rummage around in rubbish or cardboard boxes, and certainly check your shoes before you put them on. Now, I don't know the people who live in this trailer, but I do know that they won't want to be sharing their home with this lady. So I'm going to put her back to where she can find a more natural home. Right, here we go. Looks like as good a place as any. There she goes. Coming up next, I find out why millions of people willingly inject themselves with a toxin that can kill you in under a day. Oh. Before I discover how a newborn baby's foreskin can help heal a maggot-ridden flesh wound.